Are you not saying anything? I am so disappointed with myself for two reasons. Uh -huh. First of all, obviously, I need to play B4 as soon as it's ready. And I wanted to play, but then I came up with this, like, I, I just made myself like a big brain instead of doing a small brain. I already have B4, but then I like, whoa, 91 is so genius. It's prophylactics, but I, I don't even think he wants F5 or knight F4. 91 was okay. Come on, chess I mean, board. yeah, but it's 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 a wrong. Like I should play B four. I don't have like there is no particular reason to play ninety one now. I can always play it later if there is in danger. I just thought I was extra prophylactical smart, but I wasn't. And then I didn't even consider knight takes e two because like for me it's like it was like strategically bad for black, mm -hmm. so I didn't even consider. But he just takes and has e a four, and then I hated everything. Right. And so I spent so much time because I thought I was kind of worse and like right. I was trying to get it right. And I was shocked when he took night takes before because I just threw like 20 minutes or like even more 30 minutes for nothing because for me the key move was knight c5. Mm -hmm. And then like, yeah, so I saw that he's like... Okay, I have something to tell you. But in the end, obviously, I already, I went crazy. I just suicided yeah, yeah. because but, of course I have something I, important I like... to tell you. You're going to get upset. <laughs> Ready to be upset? Okay, so, yeah, knight e2 is your first bad move. And then this is fine. Oh, yeah, knight e5. Yeah, I, I saw it with them. Yeah, knight takes e5. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I saw while I was waiting for, for the delay. Right, well, B, this, yeah, b6 this, is I mean, just a blunder. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I, I I obviously didn't. I was looking how to make my rook and the diagonal work, but mm -hmm. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see this. I don't know yeah, if it's, it's winning. It's like crazy. plus one point two or one point three, so it's good for you. Yeah, it's but pretty. It's pretty crazy. I think if you played like, it, your opponent would be so shocked that he would he'd crumble. Yeah, it's it's a pity. I I, I didn't. It's a pity I didn't consider it. I didn't feel the idea. Yeah. Yeah, and here and, the um, engine says queen e2 is better than queen d2. Yeah, I, I, I was planning on e4. I thought e4 is a weakening. I wanted to play queen f4, but then I thought I was winning. And I blundered, I blundered that he can play. I was planning on f4 mm -hmm. to play bishop b2, but I right, blundered that, that he loses. can do yeah. queen takes b2. Yep. And then when I saw it, I'm like, okay, either I go to that end game, it's probably a draw, but um, or I continue. And then I just went, you know, like crazy. I right. went crazy because I wanted to win. Yeah, queen f4 is still about equal, but you're slightly worse, I think. Yeah, I thought I was better. This is weird. Mm -hmm. But you always think you're better. So. Yeah. But um, so that's I, it's weird. a pity that I threw all this time because it's like the moment I missed a four, I was like, mm -hmm. "How do I like? Right. What's the right way? I can't understand how mm -hmm. how to play." Right. Yeah. Ninety two makes your game hard to play. But I, I'm very like I'm very disappointed. I was very disappointed at that moment because like I I got everything I wanted from the opening and yeah. then I just one move, just put the pawn on b four. You already prepared it, and then like. Let him figure it out. And then I was, yeah, I was overthinking. Way too mm -hmm. much overthinking game. Like the previous games, I wasn't overthinking. But you know, when it comes, like last round, like you kind of, you always, like when you start winning, you you start caring. And when you start caring, you start overthinking. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, um, But still a great tournament. Just a bad last round. Yeah. Your opponent probably feels bad, too, because yesterday he lost. If he had won, he'd have six and a half out of eight. So he was like, damn, I lost. He would have well, been fighting for second. Now he's you know, fighting for a sandwich. Should, yeah, I didn't notice that. Mm -hmm. But he was he was like, I could feel he was, he was not precise at all. He was playing very fast, and he was walking all the time away. Mm -hmm. So, um... I I was like I, w I didn't like him. I wanted to beat him. <laughs> yeah. Aw. Go Dina. Yeah, it's it's so stupid because really like B4. I mean, I just I honestly did not con I didn't think he would play knight takes E2. I thought like mm -hmm. strategically this is this is in my favor, right? 
changing knights. Yeah, as long as you can play B4. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just, like, I don't know what I did was smart because I kind of, I wanted the queen to come to G6 so that I can bring my rook with the tempo. So right. I forced him to do that, but I don't know if it was better for him or for me. Maybe there was a better way to play instead of queen D1. I also considered queen H5. Yeah, the, the, the engine like queen D1. Oh, really? And, and rook what e1. about rook e1? Yeah, it just said this is equal, but I mean, obviously in the King's Indian, this is what black is aiming for. But okay, it's, it's still crazy equal. that he sacrificed the pawn in a second that I didn't even consider it. Where? I uh, want he played queen g6. Oh. Like he did it in a second. I didn't even consider that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was all the time walking away. I don't know where he was going. It's Karen. Yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, maybe I was, um, I definitely played differently when I want to win and when I don't want to win, like, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, in this game I wanted to win, so I was overthinking. Yeah, you were getting in time trouble. Yeah, be, like, I should just, here I see, okay, I should make a move, like, in, in three minutes, like. If I don't take the pawn, then there is nothing better to do than to uh, change this pawn, activate my rook. Mm -hmm. So I should do it. And I, I just, I don't know, I spent so much time on it. Maybe I spent 20 minutes on it, and then I spent... Yeah, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I just didn't want to activate his knight. I was considering c5. I was considering c5 before b4. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. No, C5 B4 is, somewhere. B4 is good. Yeah. And B6 is a blunder. But it was my idea. But 95, again, like, if I don't see 95. Yeah. Like, what I mean, should I, I do? 95 is really hard to see. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would have shocked the hell out of your opponent. Yeah, that's a tough move to see. Pawns defended mm -hmm. by everything. So you just very much positionally sacrifice the bishop, right? And then the piece. Uh, what's that after knight takes? I think it's like rook g3, bishop b2, and then f4. Right. Yeah, that's right. But it's so... Rook e8, like, yeah. Can someone understand what's going on? Yeah, white Damn. has a big attack. Like, what do I even want? Do I want to take with a... Yeah, play f takes. F takes, so I don't want to take with the bishop because he will take with the rook. I mean, that's good for you also. <laughs> yeah, this is deep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> But unfortunately, I didn't consider it. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a good lesson, honestly. Like this mm -hmm. kind of dynamic sacrifice. This is yeah. what I would call it. Dynamic positional. Yeah. Mm. And then I think, so obviously, the if I take on G7 instead of going rook B3, I thought it's probably a draw. Like, I might be slightly better, but it's probably a draw, but it's not enough. I, I checked that the computer said I'm worse there, mm -hmm, yeah. but I'm actually curious why am I worse. Yeah, my, let's see, I was using a good engine also. Let me go back to that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Rick I also wanted to play Bishop B3. But then mm -hmm. I, I cannot play take on g7 because my rook is pinned. Let's see. Rook g7. Bishop b2. Rook a2 is the best move. Yeah. See, in this position, we were analyzing it during the game, and the engine was saying bishop yeah. takes h6 is the best move. 
Oh, really? Which surprised I, me. Yeah, I hear... Mm. I mean, I, I thought about it, but I didn't believe in it. Yeah. And then if... Okay, I take the Rook. Mm -hmm. And then I do something like maybe... um. Uh, King F1. Always play King F1. Why does why why is it better for Black? Well, Black can lock of the, the King up here, and your pieces are all tied down. Rooks on the seventh. Yeah, I probably would lose it. Yeah, it says King here, Bishop F5, and walk the King up. <clears throat> so then, if I I I'm, yeah, if I don't blunder that. Like initially, I didn't want to go here, right? I wanted to play bishop b2 right away, but then just he takes right, the bishop yeah. and then takes right. The then he has this, so, this nice, yeah. Yeah. yeah I if I see that. that, then I, yeah, this is what I blundered. But if if I see that, then I should play um, queen f4, right. which I wanted initially. Mm -hmm. Queen f4, but why is queen this position worse for white? Yeah, it still says you're worse, but not losing. But why worse? Well, his rook's on a1. Your bishops can't move. He's got nice e4 pawn. But I want to play. I want to play bishop d1, and then I'm gonna kick his rook out. No. Uh, how are you gonna kick his rook out? Like bishop d1. Yeah. Then what? And then like bishop d2. I don't know. Yeah. Bishop c3. Ah, that's a, <laughs> that's a good plan. Yeah. Yeah, it says king h7's like 0.9 better king, for King black. h7. Oh, ha. Like, okay, bishop d1. Bishop d1. Whoops. King h7, bishop d1. Uh, queen e5 is the best move. Queen e5. Hmm. I also thought no, but it doesn't work. Shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's sad. I I think I think I should I should yeah, I think it was all 91 that ruined everything. I thought it was 92. I mean, yeah, 92, but that was the, my idea, yeah. I, yeah, I yeah. didn't, like... Mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't... But can you tell me, like... I mean, you told me already, just to confirm. If Black doesn't have a4, knight f4, knight e2, if knight takes e2, this is better for white, right? We exchange the outpost knights. And they're like, yeah, I would rather have white if, if they didn't play a4. Yeah. Because, I mean, if, just to understand the King's Indian poem, like King's Indian typical ideas, changing this knight is in white's favor because black doesn't attack and the pawn structure is passive, right? Yeah, and it wanted you to play g3 here, kick the knight out. I thought knight h3. Right, That's that was the main line. It's, it likes white there. Well, if you see this thing, I don't know because, like, is it weakening or is it, like, is it kicking his piece out? It's both. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Yeah, I mean, okay, I have to be objective. This is the first time I ever played King's Indian. I have zero experience. Mm -hmm. And I and I almost did everything. Almost perfect. Like, really, like, my hand was, like, B4 or 91. B4 or 91. Mm -hmm. So, um... And I prepared B4, just yeah, just forgot that he could do A4. So I can say like it wasn't yeah. Just I was so close to outplay him. Dang. Yeah. Alright, when's the when's the uh, next time you're playing chess? Is it Berlin? <laughs> no, I mean we're going to Berlin, but we're not gonna play chess there. So oh, you're just gonna hang out. we start. Yeah, we're going to start Reykjavik um, mm -hmm. in one week. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll have more games to um, mm -hmm. redeem myself. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, what do you say? 
chat. Go chat. What do you say? Let's see. Where's your? There it is. Yeah, you have about a thousand people watching on your channel. Nice. Five hundred on do you, YouTube. Do you think you would play differently if the game wasn't in the morning? No, I don't think so. I think it's it's that it's the last round, and I wanted to beat my opponent. Then, like when I want to beat, I lose the. I start overthinking. I think it's that because the previous games, I didn't care. But like obviously, lot of when you start winning, you want to kind of yeah, wow. Am I having my best tournaments? You know, so you mm -hmm. start when you start, yeah, caring like you overthink. I think that's the thing. <sighs> yeah, ninety-five is a good lesson. It's a beautiful thing. I I absolutely didn't consider it, but it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I was looking to that right because I was looking. Okay, how do I? Like I bring, I wanted to bring the rook to g3 when I played queen d1, right? Mm -hmm. Starting from queen d1, it was already my idea. I'm bringing the rook to g3, attacking the queen and putting the bishop. So I was, I was kind of not far away, but yeah, yeah. How, how, how do you feel, Ben, waking up so early? That was fun. We woke up at 4:40. Yay! Wow. Can't have nice. more fun than that. What time did you go to bed? Uh, 10, 30, 11. Oh, okay. You had some sleep. You had more sleep than I did. Yeah, that's good. I mean, then it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like him either, Dina. Yeah, you, we understand each other. Okay, guys, I think today I'm going to post another recap from how I crushed a... Um, um, a 1700... Underrated Chinese kid. Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably make a recap about how I crushed the Fida Master yesterday, which I might post like in a few days. But as far as for this game, I don't know if it's worth it. But um, yeah, thank you for watching all this way for all the live streams on YouTube and on Twitch. And big, big, big thanks to Ben and Karen who carried all this journey. Go, Dina. For me and with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a great tournament. Very interesting. Lots yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy mm -hmm. was so because I have this theory. I, I shared it with, with chat many times already before. It's when you... Um, the most important game of the, any tournament, it doesn't matter how you play good or how bad you play. The most important is the last round because this is the uh, mood that you're leaving the tournament with. Mm-hmm. That being said, last year I also lost in Reykjavik and I felt really bad. So, um, I mean, it's okay. Next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ben is like speechless. Yeah, it's too early for me. Well, I've been awake too long. Okay. Well, I guess it's like, I, I have never finished so early before even both of us, both mm -hmm. as I. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to raid both as I. Yep. I'm ready to raid. All right, good luck How in Reykjavik. Have fun in Berlin. How are they doing? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> They're both playing. Mm -hmm. Andrei's losing. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to raid. Raid. Alice is drawing. Okay, let's give some support to both as I. Okay. <sighs> See you in Reykjavik. Uh, ben, remind us how many rounds will you be able to be with us? I think you not from the first, from 18th, right? Well, I think I missed the first. Yeah, the 18th I can do it. The 18th till the end. <clears throat> okay, so I need to find someone for yeah. the first. Mm -hmm. Sounds okay. And then after 18th, you are with us. Yeah. I think there is one day there is a double round. Maybe, yeah. Or even two days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks, Ben. Okay. Thanks, Dina. Bye-bye. Bye.